Hey, this is Drago from DRVGO or however you want to pronounce it. At this point, you must have visited my site. So the most interesting thing about my members asked about is their role management system. So first of all, I'm just going to log in and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so here's the role management system. I think you might be familiar with this one because Discord has the same thing in a way. So like in the roles, you can like drag and drop over here or maybe here or whatever you want. And in my site, I can also do this thing. So I can actually drag and drop mode over here or maybe I can move user over admin and then I can do whatever I want. So some of you actually requested on my DM about explaining the code behind it. So I'm actually going to make it live on this video. Okay, so let's actually start it. So here I just have a project, like uh, just an empty project with the app directory. And here I have the home folder. Inside it, the page is actually empty because we're going to make it. So first of all, I'm just going to run the server with pnpm dev. And I'm actually going to open the site localhost 3000. It's going to take some time, but it should be quick. So here it is ready. Now, the background color is actually gradient because I actually set it to gradient in the global CSS with, uh, where did it go? This one. The first thing we need is rules. So by default, I actually use database for the role management system. I, you can actually create role and edit role and edit role, whatever the thing you can do with Discord, the same thing you can do on my site. So now we're not actually gonna use database. We're just gonna hard code the roles. And after that, we're gonna do the drag and drop feature. So first of all, I'm just gonna go to config and I'm gonna create a file called const.ts because we're actually writing TypeScript. Now, before actually writing anything, we're gonna install a package called pnpm add nanoid or actually nano ID. So it's basically a random ID generator. I already have this package, so I'm actually not gonna install it. So first of all, we're actually gonna import the package. So import uh, empty from nanoid or nano ID, whatever you wanna say. And we're actually gonna destructure it to nanoid. Now, first of all, we're actually gonna create an interface. So export interface with the name of rule. Now inside it, we have Actually, Copilot gave me the solution, but we're actually going to use the ID as string. Then the name also as string. Uh, then we have the key with string value. And lastly, the position. This will keep track of the position of that role. Now we need to actually hard code the roles. So we're just going to write export constant, uh, let's say role or maybe roles with the interface role array. Nice. I'm actually going to write it behind the scenes and then I'll be back. So here are all of our roles with the ID nano ID like the random generator id then we have the name as owner key as owner and the administrator administrator moderator guest and member these are the five roles that we're going to manage okay so i'm actually going to just going to save it and we're just going to head to page now here we're going to first create a section just to look it good then we're going to give it a class name with flex p5 and i guess py10 now that we're done here we're going to create a div with the class name container max width of sorry, width, uh, let's say 75 brim maybe. And lastly, padding zero, because we do not want the containers padding. Now inside it, we're gonna have a heading. So with a div, I can write class name. Let's actually write it later. So we'll just add P with uh, first of all roles. We're gonna make the class name as text, let's say 5XL and font uh, bold. Next, another paragraph tag with that's what Copilot actually gives us. So let's manage uh, the roles of organization. Yes, that's fine. Uh, then with the class name of text gray 400. And uh, I guess, yeah, we do not need anything. Now for this one, we're gonna set the class name to space y let's say two and text center. Center, not clip. Yeah, that's fine. Let's see how it actually looks. Yeah, that looks good to me, no problem. Now, finally, we need that component. So first of all, you can actually use React DND, which I can actually show you over here, React DND. Now that's the package, you can use it. It's completely on your wish, but there is another package called React uh, Beautiful DND, I believe. Now you can actually use this package. They have a very nice example on it. So you can like drag and drop over here, or maybe here, or maybe over here. I don't know, just do whatever you want. You can experiment with this one. But here's a problem with this one. The latest version of Lex.js uses React, I guess, 18 point something. So we have React 18.2.0, but this version, like uh, this is not in maintenance. Okay, so they like have a whole section for this. So they are not actually maintaining and it actually supports React 16. And so 
there are some bugs and glitches. Uh, that's why we're not actually going to use it. But there is another package called at hello Pangea slash dnd. Now we're actually going to install this package. This is actually forked from the original package, React Beautiful DND. And this guy, whoever the guy is, I don't know who is, who is the guy. Yeah, it's actually hello Pangea. That guy. So we're actually going to use this package. So we're going to add pnpm add at hello Pangea slash dnd. So I actually have this installed. So I'm actually not going to install it again. For this part, we're actually not going to use it here. Okay. So we're actually going to create a component inside components folder uh, called home. And inside it, we're going to create dnd.tsx, let's say. Now we're going to mark it as use client because it's going to be client side. And we're going to just use the snippet. Now we do not need this, this, and this part too. We can make it dnd or let's say dnd. Before we actually write anything in the, inside the return, we're first going to define a state with constant roles comma set roles equals to use state of role use state where define it i have to import the role from the const and finally for this one we're going to use roles from the const now if you if you're actually importing the data from the database you have to write that like my original code has that initial roles variable from uh, directly imported from the database but here we're actually hard coding it so that's why we're using roles now we'll be handling actually two events First of all, handle drag start with a function basically. For now, we're actually not gonna write anything. Another event, constant handle, uh, sorry, handle drag end equals to the same thing. Now here, inside it, we're first gonna make the React fragment to div. And then we're gonna define the class as flex, flex call, and get five. Now, the first thing we need from the package is import we said the structure from uh, at hello Pangea slash dnd. Now we're going to import the drag and drop context, uh, the droppable, the draggable, and I guess, and another thing like drag result, I guess, something like that. Uh, or maybe drop result, I guess, not drag result. Yes, drop result. Now, first of all, we're actually going to wrap the whole component inside the context. So drag drop context. And inside it, we're actually going to define the events. So on drag start with the handle drag start and on drag end with the handle drag end. Now we're going to use the droppable. Now this droppable actually takes a droppable ID. You can set it to anything you want, but I'm just going to set it to droppable. Now we're actually going to close it also. Now inside it, we actually fired a callback with the provided, but we're not going to write provided because you're going to need it later. So that's why we're just going to write droppable provided or uh, droppable provided. And then we're going to fire the callback with the return statement. Now, as we're going to make a list, so first of all, we're going to make a UL, and then we're going to make it a class, and then we're going to give it a class of flex, flex call, and gap four. Lastly, we need two props, the whole props and the ref. So first of all, we're passing the whole props, the props for the droppable provided, and finally, the ref. Now, if you do not define the ref, it's not going to work, so it is important. Next, the state roles that we already have, we're going to map it. So roles.map with role and index, we're going to actually close it. And then inside it, we're going to call the draggable. So with draggable, and then we have Copilot has already suggested us draggable ID, index, and key. So we're going to just give it. Now here, it also fires a callback. So we have to catch it. And with the draggable provided, we're just going to write it draggable provided. We're going to fire it. And I guess we have to close it. Yes, it is closed. As we're already inside the UL and we're mapping it, so each of the components are going to be a LI. Now the LI is actually going to contain some classes. So class name. So you can have flex, item center, justify center, cap four, rounded MD, BG default, let's say 50, and padding of four. Now we also need to pass the props of the draggable over here. So this time we have the draggable props, drag handle props, and finally the ref. Now also the ref is important here. Lastly, just for styling, we can just have a div with the icon. Now I have to define the icon obviously. So icons and the chip, this chip is imported from next UI. So if you're not using it, please go and use it. It's awesome. And lastly, we're going to have a div for the buttons. So first of all, we're going to have a button for the edit. And secondly, we have the button for the close. So I'm actually going to import the button over here. And now that it is imported, it all looks good. And I guess there is an issue with the brackets. I guess I messed up somewhere. Oh yeah, so this one, I actually forgot to close. So this just goes here and actually just fixes the problem. Now I can actually handle save and it will just format the document. Now, 
There is another thing that we actually need, which is after draggable, after this one, before you will, we're gonna have droppable provided dot placeholder. Now this part is also important. Now, if I actually check this site, I guess I have to refresh. Oh, I'm actually not importing this component. So after this one, we're gonna import DND, export it from that one. So DND and that's fine. We're gonna save it. And I guess it should be up here. Yes, it is here. Uh, there's a problem with the CSS. Okay, this is supposed to be justify between and not center, I guess. That should fix it. Yeah, I'm gonna just save it. And okay, uh, that's weird. Uh, okay, this diff. This diff is supposed to end here, not there. Now, if I actually do this, it's not gonna work. Like, it's actually dragging, but it's not dropping, right? So, it's not sticking over here. So, for that, we can do one thing. We have to define these events. So first of all, for the drag start, this part is actually optional. Okay, so you can actually just skip this part, the drag start event. So you just wanna write if window.navigator.vibrate, then we're gonna window.navigator.vibrate of 100, okay? So that actually means if the device supports vibration, so after someone starts dragging a component or any of the cards, then it's gonna vibrate the phone. Next, the handle drag. Now for this one, we have to define a parameter. So the parameter goes as result with drop result, the thing that we imported earlier. Now inside it, we're first gonna write if result.combine, we're gonna have set new roles with roles and the roles array. Then we're gonna new roles dot splice with the result source index comma one. So you're gonna splice it. Lastly, we're gonna set the roles to new roles. And finally, we're gonna return. Now that's if the results are combined. If they're not, then we're gonna first check whether there is test or not. That means if you start dragging four, this one is source, okay? So if you drop it over here, now number two becomes the destination. So this is the source, number four, this is the destination with number two. So if there is no destination, if it was not moved, we're gonna return. And lastly, we're gonna check if result or destination index equals to result dot source index, that means it was not moved, then we're gonna return. For example, if you start moving it and then actually drop it over here, we're gonna return. Lastly, we're gonna do constant new roles equals to, we're gonna call a function of reorder. Now, what is this? Actually, I'm gonna define it. Actually, reorder, not thread order. So I'm actually gonna go to lib and then utils. Inside it, I'm actually gonna define the function. At the last line, we're gonna define function. Actually, we have to export it. So export function, reorder. Now we're gonna actually use TypeScript generx. So we're gonna use t item, t item. This part is optional, the generic part, but it is better if you use it. So actually Copilot gave me all the suggestion, so I can just hit tab and I'm just gonna explain it to you. So first of all, we have the list, the T item, all the items that we are passing, the roles basically. Then we have the start index. So the index that we are starting with and the end index, the index we're ending with. So we'll first make the result as an array and then we're gonna destruction removed from the result splice of start index comma one. So now we're gonna splice the result finally with end index zero and removed. And finally, we're gonna return the result. Now, we're actually gonna see it in the action better. So I'm actually gonna save it. We can actually now import it. And lastly, of the roles, the list, result of source dot index, the start index, and finally, the destination index with the end index. And finally, we're gonna return the new roles inside the set roles. And that should be it. So if I now try to move guest, okay, I'm moving guest in number four over administrator, it should drop and it should change the number. So we have the one, two, three, four, five. If I try to move member, the number five index, if I try to move it on number one, it should change it to one. And the rest, one, two, three, four, five. So it will just reset all the numbers after it. And obviously I also added another function with the close one that just removed the index from the new roles array and just sets the roles to the new roles. So if I just try to remove owner from here, if I click on it, the owner gets removed. And obviously it's just uh, hard coded. So if I just refresh it, it just comes back. Yeah, that's it. So I hope actually you enjoyed the video. If you want more content like this, do subscribe to the channel. Do give this video a thumbs up and you're gonna obviously visit my site on its trvgo.me or it's trago.me, however you wanna say it. And I actually just released a new feature on the site today with the hire me section. So you can actually create project and collab with me over here. And if you already have an active project, you can obviously chat with me about that project. I'd be happy if you actually join my server. We always talk about web tip stuff and the other things. Goodbye. Have a good day. Peace.